15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing from Mexico City, Mexico, he's wearing black trunks, he weighs 208, Manuel Ramos. Ramos. He gets a fine welcome. His opponent from Philadelphia, wearing green trunks, he weighs 203 and a half, the heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier. And Joe gets an ovation. With the heavyweight championship of the world at stake. Good evening, Joe and Manuel. The heavyweight championship fight between Joe Frazier and Manuel Ramos should be ready to start in just a moment. Listen, you better hold them. They're gonna come out. In the center of the ring, Johnny Abbey has pulled in both fighters. Manuel Ramos, 24 years old, 6'3", 208 pounds. Jill Fraser, also 24, 5'11 and a half, 203 pounds. To get their final instructions, both fighters go back toward their corners. Fraser will be working out of the corner to your right. Fraser likes to press his man and work the body. He has a wicked left hook. He keeps pressure on all the way. Ramos has the reach on him, about four inches and three and a half inches in height. As you can see, both are easy to hit. Ramos has been told to stay off the ropes. He's trying to. Frazier was robbed. Frazier was wobbled by a right hand. I don't have to talk, the action speaks for itself. probably of Dempsey and Furpo. This is the greatest first round of any heavyweight championship fight that I remember. There's a minute to go in the round. Ramos, a five to one underdog, almost took it here in the first round. Frazier keeps boring in a la Marciano. Both have tremendous left hooks. Ramos was staggered. Not a knockdown. Ten seconds to go in this round. There's the bell. Madison Square Garden scoring on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even. Ramos hit him low. Frazier is putting everything into every punch. And so is Ramos. He's got Ramos in trouble on the ropes. And Ramos is down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine. Ramos gets up at the count of nine. Two minutes and 45 seconds left in the round. A wicked right uppercut that time by Frazier. He's got his man in real trouble again. That was the first knockdown of Ramos' career. He'd never been down before. He is no pushover, and Frazier is proving himself a great fighter. Ramos, who has never been cut either, has a lump over his right eye. Testimony to the punching power of Joe Frazier. Half the round is over. Ramos is being battered now. Frazier's left took as a thing of fistic beauty. Ramos hit low again. There's a minute to go in the round. It's a, it's a question of how long Ramos can take this. Ramos is getting gun shy now, but he's game. He has been subjected to an awesome battering. And Frazier has taken a lot of good punches too. That right uppercut almost tears the head off. Ten seconds left in this round. Ramos takes the count. And now the round is over. Let's see what Arthur McCanty is doing. Arthur McCanty is stopping the fight. And the winner and still heavyweight champion of the world is Joe Frazier in a sensational fight at Madison Square Garden. Jim Gordon is going up into the ring to try to get Frazier to the microphone and to our cameras. It was a sensational fight from start to finish. And for a moment in round one, in the first minute, it looked as though Manuel Ramos was going to be the new heavyweight champion of the world. But Joe Frazier is made of stern stuff. There is no question about that. Manuel Ramos took an awesome battering once Frazier got his sights on it. And Frazier is certainly a fine heavyweight champion. There is no question about that. Johnny Addy is ready with the announcement now. Hey, Joe! Hey, Joe! The winner at the end of the second round by a TKO and still the heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier. I want to explain what Johnny meant. In New York, if a man is floored at or near the bell, the, he cannot any longer be saved by the bell. And this is the first time it has happened in a championship fight. Frazier floored Ramos right at the bell, and uh, the round was not over until Ramos got up. But when he got up, the referee, Arthur McCanny, wisely stopped the fight. Now here's Jim Gordon up in the ring. We're going to try to get Joe Fraser over here, Johnny Eddy. Just one more picture for Joe. Joe is a magnificent fight. Congratulations to you. He, did he hurt you with that one punch yeah, early in the round? Yeah, came in uh, early up there, and he a little surprised me. And uh, worked hard at the time. He kind of, I, I know I could survive, you know, the uh, shot that he hit me with. But then I said, wow. This cat's come to work, so that's why I better tighten up on myself. 
You but certainly he'll... came to work. I never saw anybody throw and punch. hit with so many left hooks in my life as you did. He can punch. No doubt about the fact. He can really punch. Can you rack him up against anybody else you fought in the past, Joe? <laughs> well, I don't think I've been shook as hard as I've been in the past. Did you have that much trouble putting him away? It seemed uh, like you hit him with everything, including the, the old ring pole. Come right back. Yeah. What's he... next for you? Well, I think I'll vacation now for a little while. I've been going pretty steady, so I'll sit with the family for a while and take them on a little vacation. Joe, congratulations. It was a magnificent job. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Joe Fraser, ladies and gentlemen, the heavyweight champion of the world, who has done a magnificent job here tonight, as Don Duffy described it to you, of bringing that fight to Ramos after Ramos himself had come out and almost put Fraser away. We're going to try to take a look, incidentally, at that knockout again. And actually, of course, it was a cumulative knockout more than anything else. Let's go back down to Don Duffy. The crowd is still milling in the ring in uh, Madison Square Garden. We almost had one of the prime upsets in history in the opening moments of the first round when Manuel Ramos uncocked a wicked right hand that caught Joe Frazier on the way in. Joe wobbled for a few seconds, uh, righted himself, and then came on to regain the mastery of the situation. They are shaking hands in the center of the ring. Whether or not it calls for a rematch, I don't know. That'll be up to the promoters. But I will say this, that the very big crowd here in Madison Square Garden, the new Madison Square Garden, got its money's worth. Now, Frazier is getting a fine hand as he leaves the ring over to our right, preceded by his manager, Yancey Durham, Eddie Futch, and Willie Reddish, all of whom were in the corner.